100 tips about buying property in Spain or things you should be thinking about when you're buying property in Spain. And number 67, this is take three because the first time the camera fell off the post where it was caused a bit of damage. The second time uh, I wasn't far enough away and this is the third time. Okay, so t take three of number 67 which is about mountains. Uh, I'm down by the beach here in Valencia and uh, lots of people uh, come to Spain for the beach. But remember that Spain is the second highest country in Europe beaten only by Switzerland. And so there's plenty of mountain uh, sports that you can do here and activities in the mountains. You can go trekking, you can go horse riding, you can go quadding, you can go climbing, you can do whatever you want up there. Mountain biking is very, very uh, big in Spain. Um, so think about getting out away from the coast if you come into the coast and getting into the interior. You don't have to go far from the coast to find the mountains in Spain. Valencia is one of the flattest areas but if you go to virtually any other part of Spain you're going to get mountains as you come up and even in Valencia you've got the Sierra Calderona which uh, start just a few kilometers from the sea. So think about what you're going to do. Are you going to be trapped by the beach drinking sangria and uh, sunbathing or are you going to get out and about into some of the most stunning and beautiful and dramatic countryside in the world. Okay so that's tip number 67 of 100 tips about buying property in Spain. Think about what you're going to do in the beautiful mountains in Spain.